Jack hit us up. He said his college football playoff hypothetical is that the number one team in the country, the Oregon Ducks, don't play in the Big Ten title game, even though they're undefeated. And because of that, they are the number five seed in the playoff. So is this likely? In my opinion, Jack, no. Is it possible? Uh, yes. And I tried to go through the Big Ten tiebreakers this morning. Y'all, they're nuts. Um, we did our best. Here, here's my assessment of them. They list them in uh, like the way they would go through the tiebreakers, if that makes sense. Like the number one tiebreaker is pretty obvious for the Big Ten. You would go with head-to-head -head matchups. Uh, the second is record against common opponents. The third is your record against common opponents with the best record. Now, the thing with this whole scenario Jack's laying out here, I should have prefaced here, in this scenario, Penn State, Indiana, and Oregon are all undefeated. It's possible because, one, they don't play anybody, um, or they don't, they don't play each other, I should say, not they don't play anybody. And uh, two, right now they're all unbeaten, so it's definitely very much so on the table. So if you're an Oregon fan rooting against this, uh, you are rooting, it sounds weird, you're rooting for Ohio State to beat Penn State this upcoming weekend. College football sickos, make sure you are subscribed right here to the On3 YouTube channel. Reaction, analysis, intel, all year long. The best board on the face of planet Earth. We're talking about it. Make sure you are subscribed. The Hard Count brought to you by our friends over at Prize Picks. $5 in lineups. When you use code Hard Count at, at, uh, at prizepicks.com, $50 in promo funds. Okay, so we plan to win, we play to win, but even if we don't win, when you use that code and play $5 in lineups, get yourself $50 in promo funds to maximize your college football Saturday. So let's go back through those tiebreakers. Head-to-head -head matchups. Well, again, they don't play each other, so that doesn't matter. Uh, record against common opponents. Doesn't matter because, again, they all have a zero in the loss column in this hypothetical. Third, their record against common opponents with the best record. Again, all unbeaten, so it doesn't matter. So I think the fourth tiebreaker is really where we would arrive at, and this to me is just <laughs> it's tricky. Uh, the way that the Big Ten words this, best cumulative conference winning percentage of all conference opponents. So essentially what this is doing here, you are rewarding the strength of conference schedule, as obscure as that is. Now, um, all three play Ohio State. So in that sense, that might be the differentiating factor for us if one team loses to Ohio State or the other, and then we're not even talking about this conversation. Uh, the advantage here for Oregon is they have some pretty strong conference opponents that not everybody has here. Um, Indiana will not play Illinois. Um, Oregon beat the brakes off Illinois. Oregon plays Michigan this weekend. Uh, they only have two conference losses right now. Wisconsin only has two conference losses right now. Oregon will play both those teams. So it's very messy, and it's hard to project what like the conference winning percentage discussion could look like with a few games left to go in the regular season. But uh, as you play it out here, I think I'd be surprised if Oregon were in a situation where they were unbeaten, they are, you know, sitting there at the end of the year, 12-0, and 0, and they somehow miss the Big Ten championship game. But let's unpack Jack's hypothetical a little bit further. Let's say that what he's speaking to ends up being the case. Let's say that Oregon, somehow, some way, the fourth tiebreaker, the, the cumulative conference winning percentage discussion goes a certain way, and Oregon is left watching Indiana and Penn State play for the Big Ten championship. Well, I think what Jack's saying is on the money here. I do not see a world where an undefeated Big Ten team that doesn't play in their conference title game is somehow not at the number five seed. If they're not at the number five seed, I mean, like, that's a whole other discussion to have. But I think you'd have a very strong case with a win over Ohio State, mind you, if you're Oregon, uh, to be in that five spot for the college football playoff. And we've been saying this for a while here, really since this new format came out. The number five seed is really just the blue-collar number one seed. Like, if you asked me today, which would you rather have, the two seed or the five seed? I'd take the five seed. And go ahead and check out here what uh, Andy Staples' uh, college football playoff projection bracket looks like right now. As of right now, he has Texas in the five seed. So just imagine for the sake of this discussion, that number five seed is Oregon. If you're the number five seed, you play the G5 rep more than likely, which would be a rematch with Boise State if we're just going to go ahead and project it out. You feel pretty good about Oregon in that situation, even though it was a three-point win. I think you, I mean, I think you've evolved since then, so that's a good way to live. Uh, if you are, let's call it the, uh, let's call it the the three seed. You draw Miami or A and M first. I don't think you want to live that way. Again, we're assuming that the five seed is is Oregon here. You play Boise State and then you play the Big Twelve champ, which is BYU. 
would you rather play BYU or would you rather play a Miami or go ahead and look at the two seed? Would you rather play a, a Notre Dame or a Penn State in that first round of the college football playoff that you get after your bye? I think the path there is much more navigable for the five seed. Now, granted, if you're the five seed, you do eventually have to play the one seed, and that would be uh, a tricky task. And in Andy Staples' projection right now, he's got Oregon at the one seed. But all that's to say here, if you draw the five seed, yes, you want to win the Big Ten Championship. Yes, you want to be in that discussion. But even if you're not there, I think everything you want to do when it comes to a national championship aspiration is still very much so on the table. So again, it starts this weekend with Michigan, but uh, the prize pick square that we love in that game against Michigan, Dylan Gabriel, 272 and a half pass yards. That's what he's listed at right now for his projection in that game. We'll take the more there. We'll take it all day long. Um, He has gone over that in four of his last five games. Will Johnson, the all-everything corner for Michigan, may or may not be available in this game. If he's available, he may not be full strength. He's averaging 291 and a half pass yards, is Dylan Gabriel, in his last five games. Translation, go ahead and take the more there. So, Jack, your hypothetical here is, is on the money. I'm curious to see if we end up getting to the tiebreaker scenario. That would be wild to me. But even if you do get to that fourth tiebreaker, I think you feel good about your chances still playing for the Big Ten Championship in Indianapolis, whether you get Penn State or you get Indiana in that hypothetical. JLab, new partner of the show. They are, I think, jumping into headfirst from what I can tell, watching commercials on college football on Saturdays uh, into the college football space. Let's be real now. It's time for all of us to, to upgrade our audio game. Um, may have a pair of headphones you like. may have some earbuds you like. But, like, let's be real. Battery life, way too short. Maybe they don't stay in your ears when you run or when you're lifting or whatever you're doing. Uh, or maybe you just don't want to spend 100 bucks whenever you lose a specific earbud to replace that. Like, that's, that's way too much. So, Enter in JLab. JLab creating headphones, earbuds, and work accessories designed for every lifestyle. For travel, they got you. JBuds Lux over your headphones, nice for your flights. I don't want to say nice for your car rides because I don't think you're supposed to have over your headphones while you drive, but maybe if you're sitting in the shotgun, you don't want to talk to whoever's driving, great way to go. Um, also, if you're working out, I mentioned that JLab recommends uh, the JBuds Sport ANC4. Secure fit, super long battery life for uh, all y'all getting after it at the gym listening to the hard count. So discover your perfect pair of headphones. Look for the JLab blue box at retailers everywhere or visit JLab.com.